Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I know, I know the title sounds rather provocative, but um, in fact it's really a presentation of the FX air gun arrow shooters that are legally toys in Germany, as you probably know, but they are great no matter what. So, let us start. I'm starting with the Verminator. The Verminator is actually a product that we've now been selling for over a year and it's been immensely successful. We're only selling it in Germany. International versions also have a pellet magazine and can also shoot pellets, you can exchange the barrels. The German version for legal reasons only shoots arrows, but it does that in a fantastic way. Um, it has 77 joules and the big advantage is to have the largest bottle of all three. But the bottle is actually the back stock here and it contains 500 ccm and that is enough for 55 shots at full power and then you can do several more with a reduced power. But um, the power is amazing, 77 joule. When I first showed this weapon, it only had 53 joules. They increased the energy a little bit afterwards, but already with 53 joules, I've been able to uh, penetrate a huge block of ballistic gelatin from 60 meters. And uh, I was also penetrate, I was also able to penetrate the coconut in a ballistic gelatin block. The next one I want to show you is the new Streamline, the Streamline Arrow, of course. And here we have a broadhead attached. Now the Streamline, I love it because it's such a lightweight, small gun. It's like a 22 caliber gun, really, from its dimensions. It's very lightweight, it's just 2.4 kilograms. Um, and um, it has a uh, 190 ccm tank, so it's not the largest. Uh, it's also a little less powerful than the Verminator, but with 63 joules, it's really amazing. Much stronger than the original Verminator, and that was strong enough. But it can do 25 shots with a full magazine. Uh, so this is, uh, this is an amazing weapon because I love the balance, it's really super. And it also is very inexpensive, it only costs 999 euros and that does contain the 19% for the sales tax in Germany. So great gun and international version of course also shoots pellets. But I'm not sure if they sell an aero model in, uh, in the US or elsewhere too. And the third model is the great Bobcat aero. And uh, here I even attached a bipod, uh, and it's a Fort Meyer bipod, which is really expensive. I think it costs 300 euros alone, so this is not part of the package. <laughs> but it's a bullpup. As you see, this is a bullpup version, so it's a lot shorter than the others, because the arrow starts here. So the mechanism is really back, like on any good bullpup. Uh, it's really close to my head now, and uh, the trigger is uh, a little bit put to the front, so that it has fantastic balance and it's such a compact weapon. This also is the most powerful of the setup. This has been tuned to 104 joules, so uh, the arrows fly at an amazing 95 meters per second. Um, and um, it also has one new thing, and that is it, it has the pressure gauge, gauge here in front, but it also has the compression uh, gauge here. It shoots the arrows with 150 bar, so as long as the tank here has more than 150 bar, you can be certain that it's shooting with full power. And if you see that the tank is getting more empty, then you would see that this never reaches 150 bar anymore. And then it's time to refill. And of course, since it's so powerful, um, and the tank isn't the largest, it's a, it's a 250 uh, CCM tank, um, you only have about 16 shots before you have to refill. But 16 shots is plenty, of course. All right, let's talk about pricing. So this is 999. This is 1399, and this is 1649. Why is this the price so high? Well, that's because these are match-grade guns. And also, air guns are usually more complex than firearms. Imagine, you know, you would shoot your firearm with a blank at home, and all the gas would be accumulated and would have to be held in a tight system. And then when you pull the trigger, that kind of uh, accumulated gas is expanded, maybe days, maybe weeks or years later. So, you can imagine how tight everything has to be built. So that is why an air gun is usually a lot more complex than a firearm. Which really, most of the technology in a firearm is in the cartridge. And this one doesn't have cartridges. So a lot of people would say, for that money I can get a firearm. Well, I would say this is actually the better deal because it's so much more mechanism here and here. So this is one of those arrows. And as you see, um, it's carbon fiber. So this is an expensive arrow. Uh, of course, they are absolutely accurate. But there is an alternative. I found that if you buy a normal 2219 uh, aluminum bolt, 
uh, you know, probably made in China. Uh, you can get those on Amazon for under 20 euros, 10 pieces, so one isn't even 2 euros. All you have to do is cut off about, a, about a three quarters of an inch from the, from the end here, and then, uh, so that the knock is uh, out of the way, and then you deburr it, and then immediately you can use it. And I found that they shoot really accurate. They're a bit heavier than this one, 30 grams is one, and this is only 23 grams, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So, it's a great tip, I think. I think that the FX Airgun arrow shooters are probably the most accurate arrow shooters on the market. Because on a normal crossbow, or bow at that part, you know, the, the arrow has been pressurized from here. So the pressure is applied to the backside of the arrow. And this means that it will actually be squeezed a little bit and be curved a little bit and then it will fish tail away. And then, then eventually be straightened by the uh, air resistance of the veins. That is not the case with the FX Airgun. Uh, weapons because the pressure is applied right beneath the tip here and this means that they are more pulled over the uh, launch uh, barrel and, and not pushed over it. Therefore there is no fishtailing. Those are totally straight and therefore accuracy is just amazing and fantastic. We have some visitors, good friends. <laughs> you think we want to play with them? I think we should. But why do they not have any pants on? Hmm. Well, now we have the typical protect your house against zombies situation where you can see the attacking zombies approaching me but I am on high ground and therefore I'm safe for a while and I have to of course try to knock these guys out, out as quickly as possible. All right let us look at the attackers. We have a zombie terminator on about 10 meters distance. Yeah. Then we have rather complicated shot scientist zombie over there and as you see it is hidden behind quite dense twigs. It will be interesting to see how the arrows glide through those. Then we have uh, this gentleman on about 30 meters distance. Oh nice. And we have the guy with the Mexican mask also behind twigs. And we have this guy with the tasteful green shirt and the friendly face. And what I've done is I've attached this uh, cheap camera to my scope with the homemade mount so that you guys will be able to look at this through the scope like you would if you would shoot the rifle by yourself. Whoa! All right, let's see if we can see where we hit him. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> I think that is a clean kill. <laughs> Don't you agree? All right, one down. Boof. <laughs> okay, now let's go for the next one. And it's gonna be the fellow in the green shirt and it's 15 meters distance. Okay, that sounded like another perfect hit. Looking at the back at the back side is already quite telling. <laughs> and you can actually see the penetration through the mask. Here is the hole. So, number two, down. <laughs> okay, number three. The gentleman with the right hand on his chest and the fancy hat. Whoa! Did you see the dust? I think we don't even have to remove the mask to see what happened. I'd say that's a pretty clear path of the arrow. Number three, down. Now we have a real complicated shot through the twigs onto the scientists. Move over a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no mafia. Down. Okay, there's one more to go, and this is, of course, the one in the most far distance. Whoa! Ha! And there it is. <laughs> Not a chance. See, that's where I was sitting. Okay, number five. Down! <laughs> the battlefield of horror. What a carnage. All right, the unbelievable arrow guns made by FX Air Guns in Sweden. They are so much fun. I love them. And I hope you do too, because that's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.